Autodesk has released the latest version of its flagship design program, AutoCAD 2014. It's the 28th release of AutoCAD, and it's noted as being version 19.1. So it continues with the AutoCAD 2013.dwg file type and format, and it's also supported on Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows 8 operating systems. There's no official support from Autodesk on Windows Vista. There have been a few minor tweaks to the user interface in this version of AutoCAD. One is the adoption of a brand new logo and branding from Autodesk. Some of the icons and things will look a little bit differently in Windows Explorer and in the application menu. You will now see this triangle cone red shape for the letter A. Besides the different look to it, the functionality of everything else is the same. But that's the logo. Another addition is file tabs. File tabs are a carryover from a third-party app that they've been making available for us, but now file tabs are native to AutoCAD. They're part of it. I have three files open right now, drawing number two, which has nothing in it, ice rink example file, which has a couple of tabs, and the cottage plan and elevation drawings. As you can see, when you hover over the file tabs, you get a preview of the different model space and paper space tabs that they have in them. These are all blank in this file. Now the ice rink file has a model space. And when you hover over these other tabs, it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like in your drawing area. And that's a nice little thing. And if that's what you want, just click on it. And that file is activated. Now every file that you have open will be listed up here. When you make changes to your drawings, it will put a little asterisk up there. That will tell you, hey, you've made changes, but you haven't saved them yet. So when I hit Control S to save, that'll go away. If you open up an AutoCAD file as read only, there will be a little lock icon in the file tab. So if you want to close a file, just click on the X, that'll close the file. If you want to make a new file, you can click on this plus sign and open up your template file, click open, and it creates a new drawing. You can always rearrange these tabs. Just left click and hold, and then drag it. Put them in whatever order you want. Otherwise, it puts the file tabs in order that they were created or opened, whatever the case might be. If you right click on any of the tabs or in this open space here where the tabs would go, you get options. New file, open a file, save all, that'll save all of your open files, or close all. Now if you right click on the tab specifically, you get a few more different options. Save as, save all, the regular save, and then close, close all, and close all except this tab. In this file, since it's one that's been saved, I can copy the full file path, or I can open the file location. This copies the file path so that I can paste it into an email, into a notes, into text, or wherever I want. And that's a really nice feature. This is the open file location. These two items alone make file tabs fantastic. Now, if you don't want to use them at all, that's fine. You don't have to. If you go to your View tab on the ribbon and go to File Tabs, that'll toggle them off and on. For most of the video series, though, I'm going to have them turned off just to save some space. Another cool thing that they've added to AutoCAD 2014 are a lot of command line features. Right now I have Dynamic Input turned on, and you're going to see some of these features. So if I start to type in a line command, you'll see Dynamic Input start to populate a list. That's with the autocomplete. But if I turn off the dynamic input, we're really going to see a lot of the features added into it here. Now, when I type in the line command, it populates a list of the different commands that start with the letters L and I, because that's all that I've typed in. I can come in here and I can click either of these and we'll start that command. One of the cool things about AutoCAD 2014 is that it remembers the commands you use. It keeps track. So if you use the line command often, it will know that. And so as you type in li, the line command eventually will be on top of this list instead of the list command or line type. That's really nice. Some of the other features right here in the command line, the ability to go right into help about that command. So if I click on this question mark, it'll open up help and it will be about the line command. If I don't want to use help, I can click on this little world thing and it will search on the internet for me for the line command about AutoCAD. Now, not only do you get commands, you also get systems variables. So if I click on this little plus sign, it'll open up the system variables that start with the letter L and I. And that's really nice. So you can get into some of these. If you're not sure what they are, again, you can click right on the help. 
or if you have blocks inside your file or hatch patterns, something like that, it will search for it. Since we have a hatch pattern in the file that has the letters L and I right into it, it will show that to you. And where this is really nice is if you have a block inside your file. So if I go to like the ice rink example file and I start typing in something, just the letter L, and I go to the blocks, I see all these blocks and layers and hatch patterns that have the letter L in it. This block is the door, it's left hung 36 inches. So I can type in the word door and it will find the block for me. I can click it and it will insert the block just like you normally would, but you don't have to start the insert command. You can just type it in. You can even use that just to see if your drawing has the block in it or not. Now the command line has a few other options to it, alternate strings of text that you can type in place of a command. So if you type in the word round, it will give us the word fillet. That's the command, fillet. So if you want to round your edges, you can type that in. Some of these have been pre-programmed into AutoCAD for you, and you can just start typing things in and you'll see what they're going to do. So this list can be edited using the edit aliases tool in the manage tab in the ribbon. So you can go to that and set those up. If you right click in your command line, you'll get to a lot of your options. Your recent commands, input settings, where you can turn these features off and on, and go to your different histories, the transparencies, and just get to regular options from AutoCAD.